Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Arrow Season 5. Now, in the mid-season premiere for Arrow Season 5, or Episode 10, which aired earlier on this week, we got the return of Katie Cassidy as a version of Laurel Lance in the form of Earth 2's Black Siren, who we had previously been introduced to on uh, The Flash last season in Season 2. Obviously, early on in the episode, we are led to believe that this is Laurel from Earth-1, who has uh, been rescued by Sarah and the rest of the Legends of Tomorrow following the incident with Damien Dark in Season 4. Even though this doesn't last long, as she quickly reveals who she is after Felicity catches on to who she is due to her knowledge of Black Siren. Just quickly on that, on my first viewing of the episode, it didn't bother me too much, but I actually rewatched the episode today, and on my second viewing of the episode, it got to me a bit. They really should have set that up that she had knowledge of Black Siren. It is things like this which make Felicity just like a plot device rather than an actual character like Oliver, Thea, obviously Laurel. Like everything with her is just to move another story along or, you know, she hacks something so the other characters can get in easily. She's basically a walking plot device. It is sort of similar with Iris on Flash, even though it does seem like the writers on Flash are trying to add some character to Iris with this journalism thing in the back half of this season. But it is one thing I really notice a lot with Felicity and they really need to get out of that where she's just, as I said, a walking plot device and actually make her a proper character. But anyway, throughout the episode, you could see that Black Siren was a baddie, like she was a villain, but you could see like the tiniest glimpses that there is still some good within her. I guess the big question around this would be, can that good within her grow to like overgrow the bad within her? And the answer to that is possibly yes, but the key to that is Ollie in my opinion. You could see throughout episode 10 that Ollie was still deeply connected to this Laurel, even after finding out the truth that not only was she from Earth 2, but that she was also a villain who had worked with Zoom. You could tell by the way that he still called her uh, Laurel, as well as the way that he interacted with her. Due to this interaction, we did see this Earth 2 Laurel like open up a bit. We learned that after Ollie on Earth 2 died, she had to start over again. His death like ruined her. And this move led to her getting these abilities and starting her journey down the path of darkness, which just kept growing within her. Ollie was still able to reach her at points, like make her stop and reconsider what she was doing just due to the fact that he was suggesting it. Which leads on to the big question, which I obviously sort of mentioned earlier. Can this version of Laurel be redeemed? Could she turn to the side of good? We do learn at the end of the episode that Black Siren isn't a secure Argus lockup. Like, she's not back in the pipeline of Star Labs. The showrunner said that this was done, so she is basically an Arrow character now. This episode partly served as, like, a transfer of a character, if you want to call it that. So the intention, which is pretty obvious, is to revisit Black Siren and Arrow soon. But I guess the other question here is, how soon? We could see her again at some point this season, with Ollie visiting her every now and then, just to connect with her. But that would really depend on Katie Cassidy's availability, like, she's a busy woman. Then again, they could just have Ollie mentioning it every now and then, you know, in like little bits of dialogue when they're in the Arrow Cave. And just mentioning those little visits to Laurel in Argus are just like planting seeds for future events on the show. Personally, I don't think we will see Black Siren in the flesh again until season 6. However, I wouldn't be surprised if in one episode later in the season she does make an appearance. Now, I know some people might not like me talking about this, especially in this specific video at least. But I sort of have to, to like, get my point across. We have this new Tina character now on Arrow who debuted technically at the end of episode 10, but will properly debut in episode 11. Now she's a metahuman with a cry and has like, decent fighting abilities. Now I think they will call her Canary. I really highly doubt that they'll call her Black Canary. I just think it's getting into territory where I think the writers, even though they do make some really silly mistakes, hopefully they're smart enough not to call her Black Canary. And also it would be weird if like, like, Laurel was the Black Canary, died being the Black Canary, and then they're just going to give someone the mantle of Black Canary. It's just a bit weird. Like, I would be extremely surprised and also a bit shocked if they gave her the mantle of Black Canary. But I don't think she'll actually be in Season 6. Hell, she might not even make it to the end of Season 5, whether that be that she dies or she just leaves. Even though her death does sort of make sense, seeing that Arrow loves killing people off who take the mantle of Canary... But due to all of this, with Tina probably, actually most likely, not being in next season, along with Ollie having Black Siren locked up in a secure place where he can visit her, speak to her, get to know her more, I do believe Season 6 will introduce a redemption storyline arc for Black Siren where she will join Team Arrow and do acts of good. 
Sort of like how they brought in the new recruits this season, but most of the focus will be on Black Sire and learning to do good. If you do want to compare it to something that we've seen in the Arrowverse before, probably the uh, like Heatwave and Captain Cold and Legends of Tomorrow, especially Heatwave. Like he was the more like psycho out of those two. And now if you look on the Legends of Tomorrow, some people might complain about it, but it sort of makes sense why he's gone down this uh, path that he has gone down. And they could really do something similar with Black Sire. And they have an example there that it sort of does work. Like, they wouldn't have kept Black Siren on the show just to break out again and be a villain again. They have heroic intentions for her, I'm 100% certain, and possibly as the new Black Canary. It is very, very important to remember that in the comics, Black Canary, like the Dinah Laurel Lance, is actually from Earth 2. So, just let that sink in, because I think, even though like the big complainers like Arrow doesn't really use too much from the comics in regards to source material most of the time, if they did this, I think a lot of people would be very pleased. And season six could be Arrow's last season. We don't know. A lot of people thought it might end at the end of uh, season five because it was the end of the flashbacks. But they're heading into season six with no like uh, island flashbacks. They're going to have to fill in time, more time than they've ever had to fill in with actual present day storylines. And I think this is going to be a perfect one, especially because... The team will be reduced because it's just a typical thing that happens on Arrow. And they've set it up with Black Siren. It'd be a massively waste oppo- uh, wasted opportunity not to bring her in at some point. Maybe not straight away at the beginning of Season 6. But you know, like an Episode 4, Episode 5, just something like that. And hopefully they do plant seeds towards the end of this season to lead up to that point. But thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, it'd be very much appreciated. If you could leave a like on it. Let me know in the comments section below, would you like to see Black Siren return as Black Canary? Or would you like her to just return as Black Siren? Like, she's just Black Siren, but she's good now. But they'll call her Black Siren because they want to honor the Earth-1 Laurel still as Black Canary. But yeah, leave all your opinions in the comments section below. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. And goodbye.